Well, it hasn't taken them long to uh, make use of this. Like I told them until this stuff gets wet, it'll be uh, a little while before it packs down, but it'll turn back solid. So uh, they're using it for truck parking, trailer parking. Looks like they backed that one in the mud nice. And uh, able to use that, but after, it, this is the first time it's rained on it since I've put it down. So do that and drive on it some, it'll get packed down pretty good. So uh, moving the equipment tomorrow, I'm gonna fuel everything up and I got a lot of rain coming tonight. I'm gonna pull it up here out of this mud and park it over there out of the way for now. So we're gonna load it up in the morning. It's cold and it's windy. We're gonna move some equipment this afternoon, hopefully before it gets dark. I'm gonna move the excavator first, come back and get the dozer. Mr. Donnie is right on time. We're getting a late start today. It's uh, almost four o'clock. What better way than to spend the next two hours moving equipment on a Friday? Here we go. High track. Oh, hope everything goes smoothly. So, normally when I load these, uh, up on the low boy uh, to get it centered uh, I normally just follow the the deck boards kind of center it up with your gaps um, if you're overhanging that way you'll be overhanging the same amount if you're even with the uh, boards on each side so it looks like I'm on the inside of that board right there about an inch and a on the inside of this one about an inch so let me boom down a little bit there's some power lines up there don't need to be getting into that and uh i'll get this right up here where it needs to be which is about right there there we go it's like a maze out here trying to get turned around with that long truck and trailer well, we got it now though hopefully mr. Donnie said I picked the damnedest sites to get into I was like what right off the main highway <laughs> Not too bad at all. We just gotta back out. So he's gonna pull up. I'm gonna pull over there and then he's gonna back back up. Time to get the dozer. Load it up, ready to go. All right, let's get this bad boy off of here. It is nice to have the camera.
I'll be back tomorrow to get started. So here is the new site project I'm going to be working on. It's around 90 acres. Uh, the first thing I'm going to be doing, um, we're doing a house lot. I got to build a road to the house lot. The first things first was this was an old subdivision. Probably they were going to start one probably right before the recession. Then that hit, and uh, all this was cleared to build houses, and it's just sat here and overgrown. And in the process, uh, it never got graded out, so it holds water just everywhere. There's a big ditch that goes all the way around the property. But nobody tied any ditches into that ditch and they piled all the dirt up here and it just dams everything up so what i'm going to be doing first thing is coming down here and digging a i mean it's only going to be two or three feet deep but a ditch that goes all the way across this property so that i can come in here and start draining all this runoff water it's just laying in here and pulling up and best I remember is down here is where it was the worst. I mean, it was just like a couple acres or more, just full of water. Yeah, right in here is where it was so bad. Yeah, so I'll be coming in here and cutting a ditch up through here today and getting all this to drain. So here's one of those drainage ditches that I was talking about around this whole property. Years and years ago, somebody dug a ditch around the property line. And uh, I mean, it's doing its job, but they piled all the dirt up here along the edges and it keeps the water from being able to flow into it. Now somebody's coming here and dug a little small ditch what I'm going to do is come in here and, you know, pretty much tie it into that grade to get as much fall as I can and then run that ditch out of the woods here and just start taking it, you know, straight up through there. And it's going to allow all this surface water to be able to flow into that and start draining. That way, because I'm going to come in here and rake all this. i got the 220 and the dozer here. But, you know, trying to get a road through here and getting all this graded, you see how it's just it's so uneven? Well, it's allow allowing all those puddles of water in there. But if I can come in here, rake this, get it smoothed off, and get everything flowing to a ditch, then at least it'll start draining and uh, get it where it's usable. Because, I mean, you can just see this ridge right here. and. <laughs> We're in eastern North Carolina, everything's flat, you know. There's not a lot of topography. And um, everything pretty much holds water until, you know, it quits raining and it soaks into the ground. But like over here, I can come over here, somebody's already started digging another little ditch and uh, get
get that cleaned out and uh, get all this where you know that goes up probably six or eight inches but once it's smoothed off it'll be able to run over here So as you just saw with the drone, it's it's really wet back in there, and that's where the pond's eventually going to go. But for now, I'm digging ditches, like I said, to get everything to drain. And the driveway is coming up through here. Well, the road's good to right here. And then there's a pretty soft spot right here. <laughs> pretty wet. And uh, boy, it's uh, it's bad. But what I'm going to do is be able to come. What I'll do, I'll dig my ditch over there. Then I'll come through here and, and cut a side ditch over to there um, and start getting all this to drain that way because that actually goes uphill that way. But this is uh, this is not what you want for a road. But I'll start getting this drained out. Oh boy, about maxed out a boot there. And uh, go from there. I just cleared out the trees I need to to be able to get in here. Uh, nothing fancy right now. Um, no grading bucket, no nothing. What I'm going to do is just dig a straight ditch with the uh, digging bucket. It's only going to be two to three feet deep because it really does no good to dig any deeper than the ditch beside you or that you're trying to drain into. Um, this may always hold water just because it's going to be lower than everything else but at least i rather have one area that's concentrated versus acres and acres that are flooded so i'm going to come over here like i said i'm just doing it the width of the bucket and taking the dirt and piling it over here to the side for now i will grade all this out later uh, but first i need this place to drain out some of the ground i mean the gonna be decent clay when it dries out it's just it has no way to drain so as you can tell I'm like almost three feet lower than the ground behind me so I should be able to get some decent drainage it almost might be a little bit of a canal for now but um, it'll kind of silt in with whatever runs into it get that little log out the way and as I'm digging it the water is going to pour into it and I can just kind of eyeball the grade from there I will put a pipe in about where I'm sitting with where the back of the machine is there's a little path right here uh, just so they can keep the access across this little road but you can see it's it's real nice topsoil but then it gets down to that I call it gumbo clay and unfortunately it just does not allow groundwater to really penetrate into it so the problem with that is uh, the water just tries to lay on top of that and that's why the surface stays so wet but it's very rich dirt down here uh, on top real nice topsoil Just, it doesn't drain well. So I'll probably pile this dirt up right here. 
could, but at least I can uh, use it to cover up the pipe that I'm going to put in here. Might just have to throw a 12 inch pipe or something in here just to allow it to flow out for now. I'll see what I come up with. Make sure I'm still on course. I'm going to take off right straight through here and go off through those trees because that's kind of the area um, I saw in the drone that's holding the most amount of water and also looks like the lowest area. So that's nice to have that. Keep from having to walk all over this place trying to figure out exactly where stuff needs to go. I can just shoot off of that and I know that it needs to go in that direction. thing about digging with a uh, 220 is it it does not take long to dig a two to three feet deep ditch I'll just make a few piles out here and spread them out I got a root rake all over all this once it dries out some and uh, I've cut some little side ditches into this main line start getting this to drain curving a little bit back that way. We just come in here with the dozer run down this ditch clean it up pretty good if, if not I always have my grading bucket I can run down sit on each side and pull it back and, and whatnot but right now it's just roughly digging a ditch to get everything to start running out of here just once I get all the surface water off everything will start draining out pretty good got all that organic material in it. Holds water bad. Stump. Big stump. get on back a little farther and once I start cutting in some water it should start getting a little a little more interesting well it didn't take long to run into all the water here everything's actually starting to drain pretty good so I'm just making piles here and there and I'll just leave those stacked up and they will dry out so I cut in a fair amount over there sitting in a good little amount right here. I'm going to take off between these trees after I move all this out of the way. Get it in the burn. 
turn the tile later. Get it out of the way for right now. sunk 
through there. I had to take a few trees down and it made it soft, so I just kind of smear it back just so everything can run down into it. Once this place dries out, I can come in here with the dozer and blade that off and just make a, a real nice little swell out of it. Um, and it'll just always kind of be the the main low area that's going to allow this place to drain out. today I can fly over here again and it should be night and day difference on how much is dried out through here. going to be the pond site right here.
But look how well everything's draining now. There's just water pouring in from everywhere. And once we get this top, you know, 16 inches, 20 inches, two feet, it'll dry out now. It'll hold up about anything you want to. All this was underwater when I come through here and already it's starting to drain out and go downstream. So I drove around to the low spot in the road where I need to cut a ditch because let's face it, it's so thick I can't tell exactly where it was from over there. So I'm going to start right here and start cutting the ditch. I can follow the tree line and angle it back that way so that I'll actually get back to you know where I dug the ditch and uh, see if I can get all this to start draining. I'll clear a path and then I'll start from the ditch back that way and work my way up just to uh, make sure I have plenty of fall, you know.
spot I need to go. So I'm just breaking this stuff back because it's kind of hard to see the lay of the land when there's three feet of brush on top of it. Plus it just kind of clears the path for me to come through here and get all the little bushes out. But as you can tell, this is definitely the lowest spot. this bad but I went through the woods and, and dug ditches and it it got it where it drained. I mean everything's just so flat you got to got to get some ditches. I've made it down here to the ditch I dug. Look, look at the water right there, still just pouring in. Man, that's working great. So it actually worked out pretty straight there. Look how damn that up that was. It's starting to flow this way, so uh, I'll uh, start digging the ditch all the way up there to where he's at, and then tie it all the way back to the road. So. I'm just going to dig it. I'm going to lay it on the downhill side so it doesn't dam up any water. And, uh, I'll probably just make a pile right here and end up just kind of spreading this out and raising this whole area up. This is exciting. I love doing stuff like this. Alright, we are really about to drain some land now.
digging a, a little bit deeper. I thought I was going to get wet there. I was looking out that way. Because uh, all this silt and everything is going to run into the ditch. Uh, kind of plug it up a little bit. So that's why, as you're seeing me dig it, you'll, follow, you'll see the water kind of follow me actually backwards. But uh, as all this stuff drains in here, that's just silt will kind of gonna give it a spot to kind of settle out in.
Lunchtime. Look at the progress though. I'm almost uh, two feet lower than ground level up here. That's not a lot of fall, but that's a lot of fall down here. So that's really going to drain out this area right here. And that is what I wanted. It's hard to build a road when it looks like that. Look at how much water is flowing out of here. That's where I started first thing this morning. I'm going to go up here to the ditch where I tied into it. It's still pouring in up there. Draining all that from back in there. And then that's the ditch I just dug going all the way up there to the road. And it's flowing really well too. But I mean all this was underwater this morning. It's already starting to dry out on top. Let this stuff just sit here and dry and hopefully we'll get some nice weather and dry out pretty good.
least the ditch I cut all the way through the woods got the road to drain just let that sit here and work its magic and get all the groundwater pulled out and whenever it comes time to start building the road through here it'll should be dried out enough for all I gotta do is scrape the topsoil off there's not much topsoil the base below it's pretty solid you can see where I just drove through there and didn't even hardly sink down it's just where that water's laid in here for so long it's just saturated that topsoil into a liquid mess so I'm gonna leave this alone and let this dry and go back over here to where I started and um, start working on uh, cleaning up that little area that the uh, owner had already cleared down get that uh, root break with the dozer so I brought the uh, dozer down here I'm gonna jump on it real quick and take these piles and push those back there to the back where it's a little drier and uh, see what I can do to kind of get this area right here to start draining a little bit better so hopefully before I leave it'll be dry enough I can run over it and grade it out a little bit smoother
was clean. Brake works pretty good, other than it's really, really wet, but not much I can do about that. I needed to get all that stuff scraped off of it so I could get this stuff to drain. So I got all the brush piled up into a pile over here. I'm going to come over to the excavator and stack it all up into one bigger pile. And then probably cut a little smaller ditch down this edge right here beside the road just to get any of this to run towards that main ditch. Well, I sure did get everything nice and muddy today. At least it was actually so wet it doesn't stick to the tracks. Too bad. But, uh, they will need a bath when they leave here. <laughs> oh well. Fill it up with fuel and come back tomorrow.